What is going on, guys? Johnny on the track back here with another video. And the NASCAR season is over. Joey Logano is your 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion. What a season it was. We had 19 different winners. Um, my That was my playoff pick, Joey Logano. When I made the bracket, I saw Logano going all the way. Got three of the four championship picks right with Bell and Elliott as well. Um, but just a just a great season overall. I think the next gen car shined, um, you know, not not 100 percent. I still think there's room for it to grow road courses, short tracks. Definitely there needs to be a little more with the next gen car. Um, but overall, just an, an amazing season. I, I enjoyed every second of it. Um, it's not, you know, every season you get to see 19 different drivers win then win in the nascar cup series and on top of that um uh, with you know the the topic of this video where i'm going with this is next year's cup series field ladies and gentlemen will be the most stacked cup series field certainly of my lifetime i have down here 27 drivers that i think could go out and win on a week in and week out basis um that is insane and that's going to make for an amazing season next year. We got one year in the next gen car of the next gen car in the books. Another year, I think, will help it grow. I'll, I think a lot of the safety concerns that the, the drivers have, rightfully so, will be addressed. Uh, and I think that the on track product, um, as good as it was this year, I think it's going to be taken another step next year. So, with all of that small talk to start, Let's get into the real stuff. I am here because we need to make some content from now until February for the Daytona 500. And I I think a great way to start the content for off season is to do my way, way, way too early 2023 NASCAR Cup Series playoff predictions. So I'm going to give you the 16 drivers that I think are, uh, are going to make the playoffs. And I'll give you the guys, some of the notable names that I have uh, left off. So let's start with this year's um, rundown of the 16 playoff drivers. And then on top of that, um, you know, the drivers that won and, and all that. So 16 playoff drivers, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Daniel Suarez, Austin Dillon, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Tyler Reddick, Austin Sindrick, and Alex Bowman. So those were your 16 playoff drivers. Um, the drivers that won, uh, minus Blaney from that bunch, and add Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Christopher Busher, and Kurt Busch. So 19 total drivers won a race this year. 16, uh, 15 of the 16 won a race and made it into the playoffs. We actually did have 16 winners, but Kurt Busch was injured, so he did not um, drive in the playoffs. Ryan Blaney got his spot. So that is um, a rundown of the playoffs. And then I just look at guys that I think – could have and should have um, won races this this year. So you got all those guys, and then you can add Martin Truex Jr., Brad Keselowski, A.J. Allmendinger, Eric Almirola, Noah Gregson, Michael McDowell, um, Justin Haley I have in the, in the mix. Um, and so I put Noah Gregson and Ty Gibbs because I think next year, when you look at the drivers, I assume Ty Gibbs will be in that 18 and Noah Gregson will be full time with Petty GMS. So I had those two guys as 27 drivers that can win on, you know, any given Sunday, which which is is amazing. So um, that was a kind of a recap of 2022. So now I am going to tell you who I think 
are the 16 drivers that are going to make the playoffs in 2023. So the way I'm going to start this is we're going to start with the guys that made the playoffs this year that I think will be back. So the first guy, easy, Joey Logano. He's the champ, just super consistent, always finds a way to grind out two, three, four wins every season um, and make his way right up to the championship four, um, if not like, you know, one race away, right? So he is a lock. Chase Elliott. Another guy, an absolute lock. Um, wh- whether you want to put him as the lead dog of Hendrick or Larson at the lead dog of Hendrick, both those guys, super talented. Chase Elliott um, didn't get any road course wins this year, which is crazy. I expect that to change next year, um, but had a good chunk of wins this year. Kyle Larson will be back in the playoffs again. Um, super consistent, was the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion. Uh, ended up winning a race in the playoffs to get himself in the um final four for the owners championship but he did not make it as a driver but kyle larson you can bet your bottom dollar that kyle larson will be back in the playoffs number four denny hamlin um again a model of consistency i know he's getting up there in age um you know maybe people say he's on the way out i do not i think denny hamlin is continued to going to continue to win at least two to three races a year um and, uh, you know, continue to have great seasons un- until really he retires. Uh, I think that 11 car, although at this point, I would say maybe Christopher Bell, you could look at as the lead dog of JGR just because of, of how young he is. Um, Hamlin is still right now the face of that of that franchise, um, especially with Kyle Busch leaving. So Denny Hamlin's my fourth driver. I got Ross Chastain, number five, going back. Um, I think Chastain showed really his growth as a driver still a lot of maturing to do on the track um but track house really from start of the year to to the final race of the season i think was the fastest team in terms of bringing bringing it every single weekend um they really did i mean they just had fast cars at all different kinds of tracks short tracks road courses super speedways mile and a half they had it everywhere um, really, really impressive season by Ross Chastain and track house. And I think he goes back next year, has a really good season. Number six, Christopher Bell. Like I said, I think now he is the face of that franchise at JGR. I know Ty Gibbs is going to be, you know, a face as well. Um, but he's going to be a rookie this year. He's going to have rookie struggles. So Christopher Bell, um, two clutch wins to get himself into the championship for a guy I am super high on. I think the Future is so bright for Christopher Bell. He's going to be with that franchise and Joe Gibbs racing for a while. And I think um, some championships at one, maybe, maybe some um, are in the future for Christopher Bell. Uh, Number seven, a guy I'm really high on came, came on hot at the end of the season in the playoffs. And that's Chase Briscoe. Um, and like I said, kind of the turning of the tide with Christopher Bell kind of being the lead dog at JGR. I think Chase Briscoe is turning the tide with Harvick on the way out. I think Chase Briscoe is turning the tide to be the number one at Stuart Haas Racing. Um, him and Johnny Klausmeier, I think, are a really, really underrated driver and crew chief pairing. Um, Klausmeier put put Chase in really good spots in the playoffs. Um, and you look at the outcome of that Martinsville race. A couple things go different. Maybe he wins. And and then, you know, he had a pretty fast car at Phoenix. Didn't look like it was going to get it done because Logano obviously had the best car, but, um, you know, definitely had a really, really good car at Phoenix. And like I said, he was just put into good positions. And I think that's because Klaus Meyer and Stuart Haas believe in this kid, and rightfully so. I think he proved at the end of the year that he is going to make a major, major jump uh, in 2023 and, and get – at least two, maybe three, four wins. Um, I'm looking at him to have a breakout season, Chase Briscoe. Number eight, a guy that did not win this year, but I think he's due to win next year. That is Ryan Blaney, um, the second dog at Penske Racing. I think Ryan Blaney had a great season, very consistent, just could not find victory lane. Um, Like I said, I believe that will change. I think Ryan Blaney easily makes it into the playoffs. Um, number nine I have on this list is Kevin Harvick. Um, believe it or not, I do believe that Kevin Harvick will go back to the NASCAR, uh, playoffs next year, back-to-back wins this year. That was the shining point of his season to lock him into the playoffs after not winning for almost two years. 
Um, but Kevin Harvick has proven time and time again that you cannot count him out on a Sunday. Um, his playoffs didn't go, I'm sure, the way that he had hoped, but that was kind of out of out of his control. He, If you actually look at the playoffs, besides just the first round when he was eliminated, he actually was pretty, pretty solid overall. Um, I think it was Darlington where his car lit on fire. I mean, he can't control that. So that's already, you know, you're, you're down a ton of points. Uh, but Kevin Harvick, solid year for him. And really, honestly, although they only had the three wins, it was a pretty solid year for Stuart Haas racing. They, they showed speed at a lot of tracks and especially in the playoffs. Um, I think when a lot of people counted them out, Chase Briscoe was right there to make the championship for. So um, pretty solid year, I think for Stuart Haas I, again, I mean, 2021 for them was brutal, absolutely brutal. So, you know, you look at this year, I think they made a jump and I think they're going to make another jump next year. Number 10, Tyler Reddick. Um, I know he's making the switch to 2311, but this kid is just too talented. And 2311 just showed too much speed this year. I think Tyler Reddick is going to win a race with 2311. I actually think it's it's going to come pretty early um, to get himself in the playoffs. Number 11, Kyle Busch. Yes, I think a lot of people are counting out Kyle Busch, but I'm a guy that I do not count out superstars in our sport. You just can't do it. Um, and that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see at the end, some of the other guys I have, but Kyle Busch, you cannot count out a superstar. Look at his brother. Look at his brother, Kurt Busch. I mean, everybody and their mother counted this guy out. Oh, he won't make the playoffs when he goes to 2311. Well, he did. And then he did it again. <laughs> uh, that's a guy. Kurt Busch is a guy that's won a race. I think the past 12 seasons, something like that. Um, and Kyle Busch, I mean, you know, the Bush brothers, are just models of consistency in this sport. So I look at Kyle Busch and I think, yeah, I mean, the world is going to be against him. Uh, the odds are going to be stacked against him in that eight car. Everybody's going to say that's such a, a step down um, to be with RCR from JGR. Well, guys, did you look at the last two months of Kyle Busch's season? Really the whole playoffs. I mean, it was a travesty. It was terrible. So I think it only goes up from here and hot take. We will see because all this stuff is way too early, but I actually have Kyle Bush right now is my favorite to win the 2023 Daytona 500 um, to get his first Daytona 500. That's how high I am on Kyle Bush making this switch. So um, number 12, Alex Bowman. I like Bowman to get back. I think the addition of Blake Harris coming from front row motorsports and Michael McDowell to be uh, Alex Bowman's crew chief. I think that's going to be a huge win for Bowman. Um, he's another guy. I mean, you just can't count him out. He always finds himself in good positions and he's not, he's not a model of consistency in the sport, um, but he finds ways to claw out and dig wins. He really does. So uh, Alex Bowman, I, I'm not going to count the guy out. So um, that's 12. Those are the 12 guys that I had making the playoffs next year that also made it this year. So now we're going to go into some different, uh, some different names. Let's start with the other driver for 2311, Bubba Wallace. I think in 2023, Bubba Wallace will make his first NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. And I'll tell you why. There is a couple races that Bubba Wallace start to finish was the fastest car. Um, he didn't win all of them, but both Kansas races, 2311 and Bubba Wallace, they had the fastest cars, really by a mile. Um, Kurt Busch won the first Kansas race. His teammate, Bubba Wallace, won the second Kansas race. So this is a team with a lot of speed. And now you have Bubba Wallace, who's won a race in back-to-back -back years. All he's got to do is win a race prior to the cutoff line. And I think he can do that. And I think Bubba Wallace has a really, really solid breakout season in the cup series next year to make the playoffs 14. Let's go with Martin Truex jr. Um, Truex, a guy just missed the playoffs. I think was finished seventh uh, in the points, regular season point standings. I, I could be mistaken. It might, might be like top five, um, but he was in the top eight. He had a lot of points, a lot of stage wins, was so close in a lot of races to winning. New Hampshire is a race that stands out, won the pole, led 
pretty uh, the most laps in that race, dominated the first two stages, won the first two stages, could not get a win. Darlington, another one that stands out in the playoffs. Um, I think coming with 20 to go, he was the leader, looked like he was going to win that thing. And then that didn't happen. So Truex just had a lot of bad luck. I think he had the speed. He's a super talented driver. He's a champion for the reason. I think Martin Truex Jr. will get back to victory lane. AJ Allmendinger. AJ Allmendinger is back in the Cup Series full time in 2023 with Calig Racing. I just look at the road courses on on this um, schedule next year. You look at Chicago, right? You look at the Roval. You look at um, uh, what uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, Coda which he almost won. I mean, I just look at three right there that are real, real uh, wild cards, and I think he can win all of them. So a lot of road courses, and then Almendinger also showed speed on on a lot of different kind of tracks um, when he was able to run just part-time with Cowley, but uh, even just short tracks. I mean, Almendinger kind of showed his dominance in Xfinity and short tracks. So I would not count this guy out. I think he's going to make the playoffs. I think he's going to win a race, and that's how he's going to get in. Um, and then finally, driver number 16 for me to get into the playoffs. Is it William Byron? Is it Austin Sindrick? How about Eric Jones? Austin Dillon, maybe? How about Almarola? No, 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 no. It is Brad Keselowski. I think Brad Keselowski is going to go back to victory lane in 2023. Maybe it's Talladega. Maybe it's the final Daytona race of the season. Maybe it's New Hampshire. But I think Brad Keselowski is going to win a race and lock himself into the playoffs. I look at a guy like like Kez. You cannot count that guy out to miss two consecutive years of the playoffs. You can't do it. You just cannot do it. Um, even when he has a bad season, he's still having a good season, really. I mean, that's that's Brad Keselowski. Uh, I remember, what was it, two years ago, he won just one race, and I think he made it all the way to the to the final eight. Um, the only race was at Talladega, but he was just, a, like I said, I, I've used this phrase quite a bit, a model of consistency, and that's what it's been with Brad Keselowski for a while now. Um, one of the best super speedway racers of all time. I think he definitely gets back into the playoffs and into victory lane in 2023. So let me run through that again. Logano, Elliott, Larson, Hamlin, Chastain, Bell, Briscoe, Blaney, Harvick, Reddick, Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, Bubba Wallace, AJ Allmendinger, Martin Truex Jr., and Brad Keselowski. Some notables, probably the biggest notable I leave out is William Byron. There is going to be a big name that misses the playoffs next year. It, it just, it's going to happen. Why? Because there's too many big names in the sport right now. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I didn't really see anything special with, with Byron after his second win, I think, which was Atlanta. Um, after that, he kind of went ice cold. He went ice, ice cold. And I look at Bowman as the other Hendrick guy that I think would be on the fringe. But like I said, with the addition of Blake Harris coming to to work as his crew chief, I think that's a big win. So I look at Byron and I just say too many big names. I don't know, you know, Truex, or, yeah, Truex, Almendinger, Bubba, Keselowski. Really, those are the only guys that I would say I, I would say like Byron could be above. But I don't know. I just don't see it with the hunger that's going to come from Martin Truex Jr., from Brad Keselowski, both like champions that just missed the playoffs, Bubba Wallace, and how good he looked at the end of the season. I think he he needs this for his career to get into the playoffs. And then A.J. Allmendinger, first time coming full-time back to the Cup Series. A lot is going to be on him to get it done and get back into the playoffs. And that dude is a competitor. So I'm not going to count him out either. Um, so Byron, I have out Austin Sindrick. Maybe he can get a road course win, a super speedway win. He was pretty consistent on both the road courses. Good on the super speedways, pretty decent on the, on the mile and a half, but he never really showed like speed to win. Um, but he was pretty consistent, but I, I don't see it. Suarez, 
same thing, consistent, really only had one dominating win. I mean, he only won one race, but I'm saying like in terms of speed, he only had one dominating car and that was um, his win at Sonoma. So I don't see Suarez getting back. Austin Dillon, the only reason he made it in was because um, that Daytona race just went crazy and he was able to survive basically. Um, Eric Almarola, I'm going to leave him out because he's my favorite driver. So when he, if he gets in, I'll just be happy about that. I, I won't care. Um, Eric Jones is an interesting one. I think Eric Jones definitely could find his way in victory lane. Um, he's got a really good crew chief. They just brought on Jimmy Johnson, uh, in, in ownership and for a third car in select races. I think they like Jones. I think that, um, that franchise or that team is going to make a big leap in 2023. But I just, I don't know. There's just a lot of guys um, that I would take before Eric Jones. Busher won the race at Bristol, had some good cars at road courses. But again, I don't know. I, I think I see Keselowski, his teammate, getting in over him. Uh, McDowell, same thing, had some really, really good runs at, um, places like gateway and all the road courses. Obviously he's very, very good on super speedways. Um, but losing Blake Harris, I think is going to be big for, for him in the 34 team. And then the two rookies Gibbs and Gregson, that's going to be a great rookie of the year battle. I would not be surprised if e either one of those guys somehow finds victory lane. Um, but if being a rookie is very, very tough in the NASCAR cup series. Just ask really anybody. I mean, ask Harrison Burton. So, um, I don't see it for those two guys either. I think they're they're going to show flashes, like real flashes, where they're going to get super close to winning races. But I don't I don't think they're going to win a race. I think they're going to be consistent for rookies, like you know, get around top twenty in points, and you'd be like, wow, that's that's really impressive for a rookie. But they're not going to find victory lane. So um, those are my sixteen drivers. Again, this is way, way too early to be even doing these predictions, but I had to do something. Uh, and and I feel like this this was pretty fun, especially just like going through these names. It's just crazy how stacked the field is going to be in twenty twenty three to make for just you know an, an amazing season. I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I want to know what you guys think. What do you like? What do you think about me leaving Byron off? Maybe Eric Jones. Those rookies, I don't know. Uh, do you believe in Keselowski? Is True Truex going to get back? Is Kyle Busch and the eight car going to make a splash in the playoffs? I don't know. I have no idea. The I'm probably going to do this again like a week before the season starts, and my mind might completely change. Who knows? But for right now, those are the 16 guys I'm going with. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give us a like. Subscribe for more content. We're going to be making content all the way up to the Daytona 500. We need to, I need to keep myself sane and I got to give you guys some content because you deserve it. Um, so like I said, want to know what you guys think in the comments, give us a like, subscribe.